It's the Per Temps Network final next. Not sure we can live up to the drama of that last race or the aftermath of that last race. I'm sure it's got a few people talking. You know, this is a three mile grade three handicap hurdle. You actually qualify for this, which is why there's a smallish field at the top. Rapunzel and Velvet Curtain for Martin Needham. Flowers for Fischl for Padraig Hogan. Florenko Dance, David Hooney. Glamist for Alex Cherry. Wolverine Darren Thompson. Press Gang for Graham Clitterbuck and Tigers Caprano for Matt Cooper. So just eight in this handicap then. Maybe a, an argument for a couple of extra qualifiers or maybe letting the first half a dozen or so qualify. Maybe they did, I don't know. Anyway, Glamist is the leader. It looked like on the... Um, anyway, they're racing down towards the first. Also, if you with the first, it looked on the... On Tom, as though there were plenty of horses that qualified, so he could have got a big film. I dare say, quite a few of them have gone in the world hurdle instead, or maybe even the novice. But it's Tigers Caprano and Velvet Curtain who dispute the lead at the moment. I've got to admit, I'd got three qualified for this. My main one that I wanted to run in it was Waldorf Salad. I thought they got a particularly good chance in this. And they get over to third because I thought he would be on a decent weight, but it turned out that all of the big guns haven't gone in and if he'd have come in he'd have been top weight which I really didn't fancy the idea of him running with top weight and I'd already got two in there on a top weight so I sent him to the novice instead just to give myself an extra option but anyway so one of the real big guns in this one apart from perhaps David Hoolian Darren Thompson but they even they're not their sort of stable stars are they with my pair at the top of the handicap anyway velvet curtains in the lead i'm still in a daze from that last race to be honest and uh, it makes you wonder what's going to happen in this one now doesn't it but <laughs> velvet curtain is in the lead from tigers caprano who's in second and then rapunzel is third press gang is fourth and glamist is fifth flamenco dance is next and then wolverine and finally flowers for fischl at the back So, Velvet Curtain is in the lead then, leading by two to three from Stable Mate Rapunzel in second, and Press Gang is third, Flowers for Fischl on the outside fourth, then Glamist, Flamenco Dance, Tigers Caprano and Wolverine, well as Caprano has now dropped to the back, they got through the first mile or so very quickly, in fact Tigers Caprano is losing ground rapidly so I think there might be something to miss with that one it's probably going to pull up as it's dropped out very quickly as they race up past the stand and Velvet Curtain group one winner over three mile hurdles last season gets over the sixth in the lead a ten year old now and there you can see Tigers Caprano is just being pulled up before that Hurdle. So Velvet Curtain in the lead, maybe bidding to become the oldest winner at the Jotnar Festival this season. Flowers for Fischl is in second. Press Gang is third. Rapunzel fourth. And Glamist is in fifth. Flamenco Dance is next. And Wolverine at the back marker. David Hooley's feeling after that last race. And it's Velvet Curtain in the lead. Well, a couple of lengths to Flowers for Fischl and then Rapunzel as they get over the next. There's Glamist, Press Gang, Ferenco Dance on the outside, and Wolverine, just the back marker. As they come towards the eighth, we'll get over that one. Just one last word about that, I'm not suggesting anything untoward's gone on, I'm just saying it's a major glitch. In the in the software and a bit weird. Anyway, they get over the ninth. Velvet curtains in the lead from Flowers for Fischl second, Rapunzel third, Glamist fourth, and then Wolverine in fifth. Press gang and finally Flamenco dance. And Velvet curtain then leads into the tenth, which is the third last. Nice four length lead from Glamist in second. Flowers for Fischl. Wolverine is the one who's getting closer. That one is on a nice weight. I wonder if Darren Thompson pulled that one away. 
specifically for this and Rapunzel's after that Flamenco Dance is next and Press Gang is the back marker Velvet Curtain leads by only a length now as Wolverine looks a big danger in second in comes Glamis Flowers for official Rapunzel now taking that gap as Flamenco Dance comes around the well, what's got to come around the outside but seems to have tucked back in again as they race down towards the second last Velvet Curtain about to be joined and possibly passed by Wolverine it looks to be going exceptionally well over the second last Wolverine landed in the lead from Velvet Curtain Flowers for Official Flamenco Dance and then Rapunzel Glamiston Press Gang nothing's out of this yet there's only about five lengths first to last and Wolverine is the one who's in front Wolverine then from Press Gang who's now come through into second Velvet Curtain is starting to drop away in third then Flamenco Dance trying to switch around the outside Flowers for Official Glamist Rapunzel the back marker but it's Wolverine who's gone for home and Wolverine is going down towards the final flight now with a three or four length lead it's Wolverine who's well clear of Press Gang and Wolverine is clear coming towards this final flight looking like probably only got to jump it to take it Wolverine gets over it nicely gets away from it well and he's a good 7-8 lens clear Darren Thompson gets himself on the board I'm not sure whether he did put this one away or not or he's just been fortunate but it's Wolverine who's going to take it and up towards the line Wolverine takes the per temps handicap hurdle pretty easily on Press Gang in second, Flowers to Fischl third, Glamis was fourth, Rapunzel was a disappointing fifth, and then Flamenco Dance, and finally Velvet Curtain, who's probably just a little bit too old now. Wolverine takes it, a good six lengths, It'll probably say a short head when the card comes up. <laughs> Wolverine for Darren Thompson, the winner. Press Gang for Graham Clutterbuck second, Flowers for Fischl, Padre Gogan third, Glamis for Alex Cherry was fourth, and Rapunzel was fifth.